Hi guys! Hey! Welcome to the British Blacklist. It's good to so. see you. Um, time wasters, so you're all time wasters. Why are you wasting my time? <laughs> <laughs> Time Wasters is about a four-piece jazz band from South London, mm -hmm. made up of four friends, um, and they end up in the 1920s by trying to escape from someone in a lift that's in a block of flats. And the show is about them and their relationships with the 1920s, with being musicians and their new surroundings. And it's about what they get up to in the 1920s. Mm. And it's also great because they're obviously from the future, so seeing the 1920s with modern eyes, sure. mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Shows that were successful at the time was like in-betweeners, plebs, drifters, they were like gang shows and mm -hmm. I really wanted to do that and I wanted to make a gang show with like four black leads. With no guns? With no guns, precisely. Oh, okay. <laughs> very, very true. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, I was learning how to play the trumpet at the time and I thought oh, I want to be cool if they were like a jazz band um, and then I kind of played with that idea and it still wasn't quite clicking and then I just thought what if they traveled back in time and then it just all kind of formed That's together cool. and it kind of went from there yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. so how did you because I've heard that you guys didn't know each other before none of you no I assume that every black actor in Britain knows each other <laughs> and because you're all five-year-olds I assume that obviously we went to school together all from the same area grew up in the same place and they're literally all cousins <laughs> all the stereotypes in one <laughs> so how can what happened like how did that yeah we basically I, just auditioned um we went it we went in yeah, we all went in separately, obviously. And then uh, <laughs> once we'd gotten the gig, we came in together for like chemistry, yeah. and um, we all just we just clicked, man. And, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we just we we got really close. Didn't we? Yeah, sure. yeah, like, yeah, everyone yeah. at when we did the read through, everyone at ITV uh, just assumed that we were friends. Yeah. like we go way way back. But I think we just gelled very very quickly yeah. together. So they had already all got their parts. I oh. think I was the last one to audition or whatever so I auditioned and then they brought me in for a chemistry read with these lot so they already had the parts and then so that they trawled me in like <laughs> do you match these guys and I was like, not oh, me gosh. I knew that you were right from the beginning <laughs> yeah. it's not just my decision it's just a really good decision like, um, um, but yeah no it was really good and these guys really had my back so yeah. even at the end of the meeting they were all like um, uh, we said like, we were like, if you don't cast the way of doing it, yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, she was, was really the best. Yeah, she was oh, the best person. Really really what was it about the character that made you say, yeah, this is me? I oh, because Lauren's just cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, Lauren's just cool. Like she's, oh, she's just in charge. She's like, she's yeah. in charge. She knows what she wants. She's practical. She's fun. She's just, she's, a, and she, she's like a girl's girl in every way that isn't stereotypical oh, okay. of what a girl's girl would be. I think she's very for women um, in her own way, which I really, really, really love. And is she one of the better characters you've, ever, you've been, that have come across for she's, your yeah. career? Yeah, like she, like she's, she's, she's unpredictable, which I like. I, th I feel like sometimes female characters, you can have a stereotype of them in your head or they can come, up, um, come across sometimes on screen as, oh, well, of course, of course she's going to do that. But with Lauren, you, you just don't know that. So I play Nick, uh, and he is the trumpeter of the band, and he is determined to make the band into a success, even though everyone's got wondering minds. Can I just ask why jazz? Because since when has a young jazz band been successful? Um, <laughs> well, I just that thought. Is so Nick. Yeah, well, yeah, I know. I mean, he's determined just, to make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even though, and I think that it opens with. Uh, Khadiz's character Jason saying like no oh. one likes jazz <laughs> but Nick is still determined to make this jazz band work and so you would have thought that being transported into the 1920s is going to become a massive success but unfortunately his like ego and his his over sense of worth is constantly gets in the way and he never quite achieves his goal he always runs into problems and dramas and danger if, if he just let himself go, 
he'd probably achieve his goal, but he won't, and <laughs> he's only got himself to blame. I mean, yeah, yeah, I play, I play Horace. Um, he's the singer of the of the group. Um, he's quite a he's quite a larger than life character. Doesn't really take his surroundings seriously. So wherever he is, he's going to adapt to it. Um, uh, yeah, he's you know he just likes to have fun. He's very. Um, He's got, he's got quite a split personality, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, he's yeah, he's a bit of an oddball, but, you know, it's... Are we going to hear you singing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In every episode. Yeah. Okay, five, four, three, two... I need a check, because you see what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, Daniel didn't know I could sing in, in, when I came in for the audition. He, under, he, under, so he underestimated he, you. Well, yeah. Um, and so we were talking about, we were just having a chat, and then I said, yeah, I do, I do a bit of singing, not like professionally, just... Bant. And um, so what he did was he wrote it into the pilot script at the oh. read through and uh, I saw it on the script and I was like, um, so this, it was in capital letters, which means obviously saying it. And I was like, oh, so you're going to do this to me today? <laughs> and um, so yeah, so, so I sang it and then uh, we, we kind of just, we kind of just played with it and he added more songs into it and then um, I got a chance to like make up some songs and, 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 and create songs that we know of in the 20th in the 21st century but with a jazz twist to it so you're going to see a lot of that in the show like man's a lot of man's not hot remixes shot. and stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've been waiting for a show for a long time for the uk that will kind of take away our minds off of desmond's and real mccoy that we, <laughs> it's like that's all we've got maybe I mean, you did well with some girls but i guess it wasn't and chewing gum and what else they the big Javon prince's show yeah and youngers yeah, and stuff yeah. like that so but it's like we have moments, and then it goes away, and mm -hmm. it dies down. So, what? How do you feel this is going to? One, what's your anticipation for the reception to Time Wasters? And two, is it is it something that we're going to have, or is it going to be like a? Do you know this yet? Whether it's going to come back, or is this? I, I like to hope so. I mean, hopefully, people watch it. Yeah, uh, people watch yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, everyone's been really supportive. Like ITV have been amazing. Like, yeah. they've really been like behind it and advertising it. And yeah, they went dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the, the way that they're gonna, gonna yeah, point. and the way that they're gonna promote that first episode as well and make it all. So we've got an hour slot where we show like episode one and two. There's gonna be time travel related things around it as well. So people are really pushing it. And I think they just really enjoy it because yeah, yeah it's a black show with black leads, but it's a good comedy. Yeah. Like people really just find it funny. You're not mm. just sitting there going, Oh that's oh they're black. It's you know, you're genuinely laughing at this at this show. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have any concerns? I, anyone of like, okay, this is a lot. This is the pressure of doing it. Your characters and representation. Because I know. Yeah, well, we weren't. Um, I was certainly nervous about stuff. But the show also makes a point about, and it, without it being on the nose, it's it's a subtle thing. Mm. There's some lovely lines in there. There's some appropriation in there that you'll go, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that. It, it's, I that. It's, <laughs> yeah. You recognise it and you go, yeah. But it's it's in a comedy way also, so it's a lot easier to stomach. Yeah. And it's. Yes, it's tasteful, mm. um, and we had a lot of fun doing it because you don't usually get us, get the chance to do stuff like that. Mm. Were there any awkward moments like we thought, oh my god? Like, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. Pushing, we're, we're pushing these white people to the edge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Really? Your but because it's through the medium of comedy, you're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I, there's gonna be. I, I, it's undeniable that there's gonna be some people that are gonna be like, oh, that's too much, or like even like the original title was Black to the Future, and even that, I, I had people going, oh, that's a bit, you know. So it, it, I think there's gonna be some people who are gonna be offended or whatnot, but I think sometimes you, I think it's very good to push boundaries and you know because we love people like all your Chris Rocks and like yeah. Dave Chappelle's and whatnot, like they kind of push the boat out when they talk about race and stuff. And there's always going to be people that push back against it. But I think it's, it's rich picking for good comedy and I mm. think we have fun with it.